How are we going, everybody? My darling better half said to me, oh, honey, honey, there's lumps on the on the, the, the uh, lily pillies out here. Uh, she saw lumps on the leaves, so I thought I'd better come out and have a look at this because what I think she's referring to is an insect called psyllid. It's spelt with, um, well, it's, yeah, it's pronounced psyllid, but it starts with a P, P-S-Y, double L-I-D. Let me just give me a second. I just walked out here and the camera started rolling, didn't even give me a chance to look around. Let me see if I can spot it. You know, this is not bad for a blind guy without his glasses on. Nothing on this one. Oh, there is something coming up here. The lumps on the leaf is very small. I mean, that's tiny, but that's what it looks like. See that, those blistering? Well, it's not a blister. Well, it's a bump. It's pushed up. It's not blistered from the underside. In actual fact, you want to wait a second. I found a bigger one. I can see it from here. It's huge. Come over here, this one here. Forget about it. Here, look at this. I don't have to hold it. Here, this is what she's talking about. See that there? Oh, you want to look at that one? <laughs> okay, he's picked a favourite. See those lumps there? Now, if I turn the underside, is that okay to turn? Have a look. They live on the underside, folks. This is a little pest that's come from another part of the world, America, or Asia. Here, let me get it out. There it is. If I can get it out. Ooh, let me drop it carefully. That's it. Now, I did not bring my glasses, and a lot of you keep saying, keep them in your pocket. <laughs> I should. I know, I forgot them. But anyway, that's the pest there, or part of it, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just grab that properly and just feel it. Oh, that's the leftover. That's not even it. It's not that big a pest, folks. It's a lot smaller than that. But um, nevertheless, that is what the damage is. Lumps on your leaves. Now, how do you control it? If you look it up and Google it and all that stuff you do, they'll say systemic insecticides. What do I say? Shut that down. Do not touch it. Do not use a systemic insecticide. Get it out, take it back to the manufacturer or wherever you purchased it from. It is toxic. Uh, the best way is pruning. Prune all this off and um, lily pillies are tough, they're robust. These will go through hell and back and keep bursting up again, folks. This is the last prune you can see, it's just been left in there. Prune it off and burn the leaves. Get rid of them completely. Otherwise, it will keep spreading. Now, if left, to run its own course, it will cause a lot of damage and you'll find some sooty mold developing as well, leaf drop and eventually some die back. Ultimately, you would not kill the plant completely because it will suck her up from the bottom as well. If you want to spray something, just use your eco oil or eco neem or make your own from the kitchen pantry. That's the broken record part of me telling you the same two insecticides, no matter what pest we have in the garden. So if you're going to ask me what insecticide to use, Rest assured, you've got a 50-50 chance. It's either eco oil or eco neem. Actually, 33.33.33 because we've got the kitchen pantry. Chili, garlic, oil, soap, turmeric and water. Look it up. You'll see it. A lot of people have tried it. Very effective, but you need to repeat that every five days because it does break down real quick. Psyllid can be very destructive. It hits citrus trees as well. It'll hit other plant life. And the symptoms are lumps. Let me get this one here better. Lumps on the leaves like that, discoloration and bumps and deform deformity happening. Control it by pruning it off and spraying your plant. And no sooner do you prune your plant off, you'll see all the new growth coming up straight away. And that's what we got here. Lots of new growth. Now, on a serious note, folks, we've been doing a lot of updates on our website behind the scenes back office. And unfortunately, it's triggered off some bad effects, meaning that our seed range, I mentioned our seed range, how important it is to build up your seed bank at home. And we put all our seed varieties discounted heavily up to 90% off and a lot of people had the opportunity to shop but yesterday somehow some IT um, glitch has caused any seed packet to be ordered to not be able to be posted out meaning you can only click and collect from Coburg or Lethbridge everything else is working perfectly click and collect is working as well it's all available at vasiliesgarden.com and we are going to keep the prices down for a while longer until we rectify these IT issues that we have in the meantime shop online vasiliesgarden.com click and collect is available or package your seeds with another product like black grid and we can deliver it to you from Eva Silly, Maresi.